guys, Steph here. Now, I know you people, or some of you people, enjoy the before and the after videos. So once again, um, here's a pen from my recent pen haul. You remember this pen here. As you can see, rather tired, a uh, bit dirty. You can see the section, unfortunately, somebody's had the pliers to the section, the, the top of the cap there is discoloured as always so it needs a bit of TLC and here's the pen after that TLC a lovely handsome fountain pen what we've got here is a Mentmore Auto Flow fountain pen made in England, made in Hackney in London, England. And the pen I'm dating from sort of 1930s, 1940s. Now, I've actually shown you other Mentmore Auto Flow pens, so if you're interested, go and have a look at them. But the Mentmore pens very very much underrated because they are superb quality made fountain pens as good as any of the many well of the major manufacturers of that period so meant more pens absolutely superb as i said quality made fountain pens let's show you the the barrel imprint there you can see it says Mentmore Auto Flow made in England and then just to the bottom there it's got I think it says Pat applied for so we've got a lovely clear imprint while we're showing you the pen close up take a look at that lovely chasing pattern there the chasing is lovely and crisp as you can see there it's a very handsome fountain pen now the Mentmore Auto Flows they came not only as in this one here you can see it's got a blind cap as button fill fountain pens they also came well as a lever filled fountain pen they also came in numerous different colours in different marbling etc some beautiful pens but this handsome beauty as you can see comes in this classic black uh, lovely chase pattern it's got gold plated gold filled uh, trim you can see it's got quite a thin cap band there it's got this well Mentmore ball clip there you can see it's got the Mentmore M logo to the very top of the clip as you can see it's a as i said it's a ball clip and you can see to the top there now as opposed to being discolored the top of it is lovely and black as it should be now as i said this one is what we term as a button filler if we remove the blind cap there you go you can see we've got the button to the bottom there so what we'll do let's just pop that back on okay let's take off the cap for you oh before I take the cap off let's give you the size the size of this pen is a very attractive 128 millimeters capped around the barrel it's a lovely chunky 12 millimeters in diameter so a lovely lovely sized fountain pen so there's the cap off let's give you sort of couple of different angles of the pen as i said it's been fully fully disassembled fully clean new sack installed in fact we've actually put a new pressure bar inside as well because believe it or not for some reason there was no bar originally inside um you'll also notice on the before that the section unfortunately somebody had the pliers to the section what I've done is removed filled 
polished the section there and it's lovely and clean and how it should be let's show you the nib it's got a lovely Mentmore Osmi Iridium 14 karat gold nib and the nice thing about this particular nib it's actually when I took it out to clean everything it's actually quite a large nib there's a sideways view for you there's the feed underneath it's got the standard sort of ladder feed of that period as I say everything is lovely lovely and clean now even with my large hands as I said it's a very comfortable pen to hold it's got this concave section which makes it nice and comfortable to write with so what we'll do um, because I put a new sack and cleaned everything I'm not going to fill it I'll leave that pleasure to the new owner but this this nib is actually as I say it's quite interesting because it's got long tines and I'm just wondering whether it's actually got a little bit of flex to it so let's let's just simply do a dip test okay and let's see how the pen writes so what we've got is a a Mentmore Auto Flow made made in England and as we said we're dating it from circa 1930s 1940s let's give it another dip so 1930s 1940s it's actually writing very nicely very nicely indeed now does it have any flex so with a little bit of pressure on the downward stroke I would say the answer is a decisive yes let's just give it one more dip for the figure of eights okay so we're running out of ink it doesn't matter we've only dipped it so writing very nicely indeed and as I suspected look at that it's got a lovely flexy nib you can see on the downward stroke we're getting quite a, a broad broad line on the cross stroke it's quite a fine line so yet yeah, a lovely flexy nib so what we'll do we'll clean that after the video let's pop the cap back on and there we have it what a handsome fountain pen from Mentmore made in England as I said made in Hackney in England very much underrated a superb quality made fountain pen and to be quite honest with you these pens you know there's collectors now that are aware of the Mentmore pens and they're becoming a lot more collectible especially as you can see here in this lovely chased pattern what a beauty there we go so don't forget people leave a comment below don't be shy give the video just there give it a thumbs up don't forget subscribe to the channel as well don't be shy and you won't miss any videos I'll just say Slava Ukraini and from me and this handsome fountain pen I'll just say bye bye for now